Hello everyone! Welcome to our video on the Wix app market, where you can grow your app and reach millions of Wix users. I'm Lisa, a product manager on the app market team at Wix. This video will discuss the strategies for success in the app market, from creating and publishing your app to attracting users and growing your business. I will guide you through the process of publishing your app, explain why publishing on the app market is a game changer, and explore strategies to help your app stand out and drive revenue. Later, my colleagues Dora and Uri will take you through ways to track your app performance, scale effectively, and discuss app success. So let's get started. Let's start with the Wix app market. With over 258 million Wix users, your app can reach a broad audience. The Wix app market is a powerful platform where apps are organized into categories like marketing, sell online, service and events, and more, making it easy for users to discover the apps they need. There are also dynamic collections like Team Picks, Newest Apps, Popular This Month, and more. And new apps benefit even more, keeping 100% of the revenue share for the first year. It's a great way to reach users and start generating income. Let's dive into one of the categories, Service and Events. Wix serves a wide range of businesses, from e-commerce to hotels, events, restaurants, and more. This means there is room for all kinds of apps. And with this wide range of businesses, Wix users are constantly looking for ways to grow and succeed, making the app market their go-to place. So it's essential to have your app listed here. Now that you have seen the app market, let's talk about how to get your app published. Let's move on to your app dashboard. After you build your app using Wix CLI, Wix Blocks, or your own environment, your next step is the Publish Your App section. We will start with Market Listing. In your app dashboard, you will be adding your app listing, and features like your app icon, app name, descriptions, and demo site to highlight your app functionality and benefits. Let's take a look at how it will look on the app market with preview listing. Your market listing is critical. It's the first thing users will see before installing your app. So make sure it is clear, eye-catching, and packed with all the relevant info to help users decide. The main elements to focus on are your app media. Add high quality and professional images showcasing your app with simple text to describe your app key functionalities. If possible, we recommend to add a promotional video to show how your app will look live in action. Let's move on to your app descriptions, which are key in keeping users engaged. Write descriptions that are direct, user-focused. Use short paragraphs to highlight your app main features. Think about it like this. What problems does my app solve? And how it can make simplify users' daily day-to-day -day task. If your app has a visual component, Add a demo site to show how your app will look on a real Wix website. We have more tips and best practices in our documentation, so make sure to check them out. Now that you've seen how to create a powerful market listing, let's talk about how to set up your app pricing. We will go back to your app dashboard to the pricing section. This is where you will decide how users will pay for your app. Wix offers a few business options to choose from. Premium, it's great if you want to offer a free plan where users can try out the basic features for free before upgrading to a paid plan. Premium, pay as you go and free if your app is completely free of charge. When thinking about pricing, think about who your users are and what they will be willing to pay. This app, for example, offers a premium model, which means there is no free plan, but it does include a free trial. And earlier this year, Wix released free trial managed by Wix, where Wix will handle all the free trial logic for you, from sending email reminders to users to charging them once the trial ends. So it's a fantastic way for users to try out your app for free for a limited time of period. And also, apps with free trial have higher conversion rate, so keep this in mind. And finally, pricing page. Next, pricing plans. This is where you will be setting up your pricing plans. You will add benefits to each plan, and offer discounts for the yearly subscription. For example, this app offers 20% discount. We highly recommend to offer it to encourage users to upgrade your app. Wix provides two options, pre-designed pricing page. Wix has a built-in pricing page that you can use right away. It's designed for a smooth and intuitive user experience, helping users easily compare between the plans and make decisions. Or if you prefer, you can use your own pricing page where you will have more flexibility and you can choose different layout. But remember, in this case, you will need to connect it to the billing APIs. Here is how you will customize Wix pre-designed pricing page. You will add features, mark which feature is included in which plan, 
And after you are done, you can recommend a plan that you want users to upgrade the app to. In this case, we chose to recommend the Pro plan. And that's it, now you are done. Once your pricing is set, this is how it will look from the user side. On the App Market Listing page, users can view your plans, see the monthly and the yearly pricing, and check out the benefits for each plan, all presented in a way that it's clear and user-friendly. Next, once the user is ready and clicks on Start Free Trial, they will be led to Wix Pricing page. On the Wix Pricing page, users will be able to see the app features and compare between the two. Also, there is an indication for the free trial days. After they select the plan, they will be led to the billing cycle, where they can choose between the monthly and the yearly payment. As you can see here, the app offers 20% discount. The final step is the checkout, where there will be a built-in checkout process that ensures a seamless payment experience for users. With Wix handling payments, you don't have to worry about security or processing fees. To sum up, the right pricing attracts users and drive growth. Wix help you to create plans that deliver. I'm happy to invite my colleague Dor to explain how to implement a free trial using the Wix CLI for the next part of this video. Hey everyone, I'm Dor, a development team lead at Wix CLI. Today, I'll showcase how to implement a free trial in an application using the Wix CLI as an example. Let's get started. To showcase how we implement free trial, we are going to use the Wix CLI templates to have a simple starting point we can use. I'm going to select the site pop-up application, so let's dive into it. Looking at this side by side, we can see the site pop-up application that was generated for us by the Wix CLI. On the left, we see the starting code that we got, and on the right, we can see the dashboard page of the application. For simplicity, we are going to block the dashboard page with a very simple UI when the user has a free trial they can upgrade to. To do this, let's jump into the code, and the first thing we need to do is actually get the installed instance of the application. So we are going to import the app instances namespace from the Wix app management SDK module. This will provide us all of the information and functions that we need. Now we are going to define a state, which is called app instance, and we are going to the function to set the state, which will be just use state imported from React, and we need a type for it, which is also coming from the app instances namespace. So it's app instances dot app instance. At the beginning, it will be initialized to undefined, and we are going to set it. To do so, we are going into our use effect here, and on the load of the dashboard page, we are defining a function, which is called async function get app instance. What this function will do is basically const the structure of instance that is coming from await app instances namespace dot get app instance. We can call this directly from our dashboard page. We can also call this directly in the same way from the backend if we want to block it there. Now we just need to take the instance that we got and assign it to our state. So set up instance to the instance. Wait, this should provide us all of the information we need about free trial plans and billings. Now, if the user has a free trial they can upgrade to, we just want to showcase it in the UI. So, for simplicity, what I will do is if app instance dot free trial available, and in case it is, I'm going to return a very simplified UI, which I'm going to now paste in, and I'm going to cover it and go over it. Now that we've brought in the needed UI for our dashboard page, Let's take a look at what we actually have here. This is a box component, which is basically a div set to the height of 100 view height and is aligned to the center and middle. And we have an empty state component that we need to import from Wix design system that has a simple title, subtitle, and a button. Let's save that. And immediately we should be able to see that once we call the get up instance function in our use effect, the dashboard page will load again, the getup instance will be called, set it to the state, and since the free trial is available for this specific user, we can see that we are seeing our empty state with the prompt to start the free trial. Let's actually uh, start the free trial and see what happens. To do that, we need to define the onClick of the button. The onClick of the button will basically be a callback function that opens the option to start a free trial. This is opening the Wix upgrade page. We are going to copy and paste in the URL for it, and we can see how it is implemented. 
Let's do window.open in order to open a new tab with it and see what we have. Okay, so this is our wix.com slash apps slash upgrade and we give it the app ID of our application and the app instance ID that we are currently are in. How do we get those? We have the app ID coming in from the wix.config.json in our case because we are using the wix CLI. So let's make sure we import that. So this is app ID and we have the app instance ID which is already coming from the state of the app instance that we already have defined. Let's save it, click the button and see what happens. Now you should be able to see that I'm navigated to the uh, package picker of plans. So now I can choose a plan, select a billing cycle and actually uh, start my free trial using one of the credit cards I already have uh, saved in my account. And once I start the uh, free trial, we can see thank you for purchasing and I'm going to navigate back to my dashboard page. And once I refresh, I should be able to see that the dashboard page is unlocked and the user can use the application. Great, this is because the free trial is no longer available, the user is actually using it. This uh, is very useful also on the back end with the same implementation and details and that should be it. Now, if we want to understand the billing cycle that the user has and how long does the, do they have for the free trial and what package are they on, we can actually see that the app instance has a lot of information that will now be available for us. Under billing, we can see that we have the free trial info, which showcases for us how long does the user have until the free trial is ended. We have the status of the free trial, which is in progress or if it already ended. And we also have the package name that the user is upgraded to and the plan that they have. Other than that, we are getting TypeScript completion here so we can understand all of the properties that we can use to implement it in our application. This should be it for handling with pricing and instances. Thanks. I'm happy to invite my colleague Uri to explain about app success in the next part of the video. Thanks, Tor. Hey everyone, I'm Uri from the Developer Relations team. Today, I want to share some quick tips to ensure your app is successful. One of the most effective ways to boost your app's visibility is by leveraging reviews. Reviews play a huge role in app visibility and user trust. Encourage users to leave a review during happy moments. Prompting for reviews strategically can boost your app's rating, helping it stand out. It's important to always follow up on positive and negative reviews with a helpful response. Next, let's talk about discoverability. Optimizing your keywords is a crucial way to improve your app's discoverability. Consider what terms users might type when searching for your app solution. Include these keywords in your app's marketing texts, such as the app name and description. Another strategy is offering a free trial, which can help attract new users. This allows them to experience your app before committing to a purchase. Additionally, leveraging seasonal sales like Black Friday or end-of-year promotions can be an excellent way to boost installs. Using coupons can further help you convert users who are on the fence about upgrading. Engaging with users through emails can be very effective. Build an email list and create nicely designed emails to share new features, seasonal sales, and app updates. Furthermore, prepare FAQs, tutorials, and other helpful resources for your app. Answer common questions, provide step-by-step -step instructions, and ensure this information is easily accessible within your app. Finally, once your app is live, maintaining its success requires actively engaging with your users and releasing updates to improve their experience. Regularly gather feedback through surveys, reviews, or video calls where you observe how users interact with your app. This helps identify areas of confusion or opportunities for enhancement. By making it easy for users to reach you and responding promptly, you build trust and loyalty. Additionally, you can push updates, track usage, earnings, and manage reviews or subscriptions efficiently